Demon Hunters, it's Enyaf here and welcome in episode 1 of Vein Guides. While the meta constantly changes with every patch, Vein will always remain a strong pick, but to master this champion you must have very fast reactions and great micro mechanics. She is the type of marksman who needs a lot of training and knowledge about the game. If you are looking for range, assassin, balancing between good and evil, you will love Vayne. Firstly, you need to understand how to hunt, how to become demon hunter. Vayne's mechanics is the key of winning a lot of games. Take a seat and watch carefully. I bring swift death. Passive. Vayne gets additional 15 movement speed when chasing or moving towards enemy. If your face is pointing towards enemy champions, you get this bonus. Remember that you need to have vision, so if someone disappears, for example on the bush, passive doesn't work. It means that passive is a bit useless at this point, but it may help you chase enemy. Tumble. Vayne dashes forward and empowers her next attack to deal additional damage. You can use Tumble to dodge, reposition, chase, run away or reset your basic attack. Silver Bolts Passive At the third attack or ability on the same target, Vayne deals through damage. Why it's so much OP? Vayne does percent damage based on HP enemy, so if Mundo has 5000 HP, it means that your third attack deal pure 500 through damage, as an additional damage. The third attack is broken because no matter how much defense you have, Vayne will always deal continuous damage. If you press bolts, for 5 seconds Vayne gets attack speed and heals of the damage Silver Bolt dealt. This skill is more complicated than you think. Let me explain this. So Vayne deals through damage at every 3 attacks. You can use Silver Bolts in two ways. To fight an enemy, mostly in this way your goal is just to gain attack speed. To farm. In this way, mostly, you want to heal or push. Now, you know that silver bolts give you attack speed, heal and deal through damage. But you don't know how to use them properly. If you want to heal, you can just press on bolts and make free shots. But be smarter than just an average player. If you want to heal, always try to land two basic attacks. And then press the skill before the third attack. And this is very, very important. Why? If you do three attacks with your second skill only to heal, you put yourself always in a danger. Look, people always want to trade when you are focusing on minions. So be intelligent and use its potential. Always try to deal two normal attacks and then before third attack press on silver bolts. It will give you the same effect but even better because you still get a heal and still you have two fast shots so you are not putting yourself in a bad situation. You are ready to trade if necessary and trust me it will surprise your enemy. Now let's talk about Condemn. Vayne fires a bolt and knocks back enemy and if opponent is knocked into a wall, he gets a stun. Condemn is way more important than you think. By using Condemn properly, you are able to kill enemy more easily and defend yourself. But be careful, using this in bad way may help enemy. There is a few ways to use Condemn, aggressive way to stun enemy. Defense way just to knock back enemy. Trade way knock back enemy if you don't want to fight anymore. Damage way you can stack silver bolts by using condemn. Flash combo you can mix condemn with flash and that's very very useful. 
I will teach you how to do it now. Of course, the first thing to learn is to practice condemn. Try many different positions and feel the range of it. Now, let's make combo with flash. First, press condemn. During its animation, you need to use flash. See this moment when she is casting condemn? This is the right moment to use flash. Make it quick and also try many different positions. Learn it and enemies will be like, wow, I thought I can play versus Vayne. And you say, no, you don't at all. Next step is ultimatium, final hour. Vayne gets additional damage and improves her passive and first ability. By getting assists or kills, this effect lasts 8 seconds longer. Sounds like a Vayne gets everything that Demon Hunter needs, right? So using your ultimate, you become true hunter for killers. You are faster, you deal more damage and you can become invisible by using tumble. Now, let's focus on this skill shot, because real fun starts at this moment. Combo is simple, you press ultimatium and then your first ability. This is really confusing for enemies to try to catch you, if used properly. Now, the most important thing is to know timing. How long can I be invisible? It is one second. You have one second before your opponents know where you are. This is time to chase an enemy, run or change your position or even to dodge enemy skill shots. Second combo is to press ultimatium and if your position is right, don't press your tumble so fast. Remember that Vayne has short range, so it's really useful to reposition by your first skill. I love to surprise opponents by using final hour plus tumble plus condemn. It's advanced combo and you need to learn it right now. You have to use fog or bush to make it work. You have to be sure that no one see you but you still are not too far away. Can you feel it? Press final hour and then in the edge of vision press tumble in the direction of enemy. From this moment, your passive starts to be really helpful. You get 90 movement speed, so with all that you can cut distance amazingly fast. Opponent will not expect that. When he realizes you are here to kill him, don't give him time to react. Press your condemn and finish him off. Now, you need to know that Vayn can reset auto attacks by using two abilities. But to make it understand, first, let's take a closer look for Vayne's basic attacks. Can you see the space between shots? This space you can fill with abilities to deal burst damage as fast as you can. Now, let's focus on how to combine it with abilities. Simple way is just to use your auto attack and then tumble. It is okay, but there is a faster way to reset your basic attack. When you press tumble to the wall tower on any objectives like a Jarvan or Camille ultimates, you can reset your attack much, much faster. To make you understand it in 100%, I will explain you how exactly it works. Vayne's dash cannot go through the wall and that's why dash stops on the distance between you and a wall. Remember that the closer you are to the wall, the faster your attack will be. So, go to the wall, first on max range of tumble, then use your first skill to direction of the wall. Now, cut the distance closer and closer and look how it changes. Closer you are to the wall, faster your attack will be. Keep it in mind. Second ability, which resets your basic attack is of course, Condemn. 
When you are attacking, look at your animation of basic attacks. Do you remember this space when Vin has to reload? This is moment when you want to use Condemn. Always try to use Condemn after your basic attack reloads. It works perfect. It is really helpful when you fight and wanna stop, but still, you can make a lot of damage doing this trick. There is a few ways to use reset auto attacks. To push farm, to destroy towers or deal burst damage to enemies. Especially in early game this trick makes a huge difference in dealing damage. Mechanics are beginning of learning champions. All this knowledge learn step by step. Next episode will be about builds and runes. If you are waiting, leave a comment and remember about giveaways for subscribers. My future hunters, I wish you a good hunt because it starts now.